Number nine. Number nine. Large. Number six. Extra dip. Number seven. Two. Number fifteen. One with Burger King foot lettuce. And a Someone's foot fungus. Good morning, Ephraim. This is Ethan, and this is Gerald. What's up? And this okay. is the sad reality of our generation. Boys, get off your screens. It's time to experience the world. Smell the roses. Experience life. <sighs> and please rise for a moment of silence and punch the flag. Are you up for an adventure? I know I am. Willing to try something you've never had before? Go on a blind date. With a book! This February. <laughs> the, the entire month, there will be books covered, some with topics, genres, and minimal information on the outside. Available for checkout. For every blind date you check out, you'll be entered to win a free drink at the Media Center. Fall in love with a good book. Blind date with a book drawing at number one. And the winners today are, drum roll, please. Number one, Kelly Weichman from Mrs. Schubert's Homeroom, 209. Number two, Olivia Sch Schlinkman, Mr. Frymoyer's Homeroom, 225. And number three, Carrie Daigle, Mr. Hershey Student Teacher, Homeroom, 309. Stop by the Media Center to collect your prizes. All lost and found items on the table located in the high school lobby will be donated on February 16th. Please stop by the table and claim any items before they are gone. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville dining hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packet from school. Space is limited, so do not delay. Now, over to our best man, Seth Bollinger. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, Ethan, how's he so cool? Ethan, that's so sad. You are cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, in the news, the government went into partial shutdown last night as the Senate failed to pass a budget resolution before the midnight deadline. The holdup was primarily the concern of Rand Paul, junior senator from Kentucky, who believed that the new spending bill would increase deficits dramatically. The bill ended up passing the Senate with a vote of 78 to 21. The only block between the government and two years of appropriated federal spending is the U.S. House of Representatives. The bill will be slightly more difficult to pass in the House, but senior analysts expect it to pass regardless. On this day in 1960, oh, the first star is added to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Actress Joanne Woodward earned the honor of having the first ever ceremony where her name was added. Today, there's more than 2,500 stars on the walk, including Kermit the Frog and Shrek. Shrek is on Shrek's life. <laughs> also, in 1964, the Beatles performed in America for the first time on a popular evening television show called The Ed Sullivan Show. They were already popular, but this skyrocketed their career forward. About 75 million people were watching that night, and some girls definitely fainted in the audience. And if we know, if Mary was alive then, she would have fainted as well. What a band. By the way, did you see that we hung up hearts? They're kind of cute, aren't they? All right, now over to the dynamic duo Ethan and Edwin with lunch. Let's do lunch, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, where are we starting? Right with the, um, uh, General Tso's chicken slash brown rice with slash uh, biscuits slash margarine. Uh, southern chicken uh, mm, biscuits. Uh, <laughs> McFrada burger. <laughs> Italian hoagie chicken. Kaiser salad. Plus french fries. Plus stir fry veggies. Plus pepper strip slash dip. Uh, diamond mandarin oranges. Fresh fruit or slushy. Yeah.
<laughs> Ride with the mob, hum do Allah. Check in with me and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Bola did the chain. Torn off for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. Yeah, McGinney chain, rest in peace. Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain. You say big homie, get a fumble. He get a ton of. I forgot, I forgot. Put on deodorant today. In sports resorts. Oh, thank you. Just gonna quick put this on. In sports resorts. Bowling beat uh, Cedar Crest 7-0 and wrestling lost to Warwick. In rifle action, Ephrata lost to Mannheim Township 496 to 497. Oh. Top shooters were Nicole Johnson, 102 centers. Joel, Joel Potts, 99 three center. Madison Miller, 99 and one center. Brianna Bowers, 99 and one center. And Kyle Good, 99. Tonight at eight, the opening ceremony will take place at the Winter Olympics in... Pyeongchang. Pyeongchang. There have already been several medals awarded. The U.S. is in the lead overall. Um, overall medals at 28 with Norway and Canada in second and third. Today in sports, the bowling, the boys swimming team will travel to compete in leagues in the L. Oh my God. <laughs> Girls will compete on Saturday, all right? Now back to the main desk. <laughs> You know what today is? It's the final day to pre-purchase tickets to the Sadie's Valentine's Dance final for seven dollars. Get it? Hey, if you're hold on, wait. Um, wait. Um, if somebody could give me seven dollars for a ticket, that'd be great. I can pay you back. That, that was actually a serious announcement. <laughs> if you are bringing a guest from another school, you must must. Got to do it. Got to do, do it. Buy your tickets Love ahead of time. It. Can't yeah. do it there. No sorry. Tickets will be on sale at the door for ten dollars at the night of the dance. Be sure to bring your ID. Bring it. You also may not have any obligations. None. Grab your friends and come and dance the night away. <laughs> Minithon registrations are now available. Minithon, a fun event for students, will be held March 3rd in the middle school gymnasiums. Games, food, DJ, raffle items, friends, family. Okay, maybe not all your family, but we're your family. Check the Schoology message that was sent out Friday to all students. Questions? Message Mr. Martin or Mr. Stacy. That's it from us today. Robert Jacks, Jason Kelsey gives the best speech ever day. I don't do sports. Get off I don't know phones. what that is. Don't be on your phones today. I don't care. What Live you do. life. I accept Have the way day. you are. Mine in a way. I don't know what to mine or mine this anyway. In this Minecraft day, so beautiful. Uh.